Okay, so yesterday you did completing the square. Um, today I want to show you how that is going to be helpful when we want to change something from standard to vertex form. So, okay, so let me show you one um, new example, and then we'll move into how to do this with an equation. So you may notice this is a little bit different than yesterday because there's a number in the front. All right, this number in the front is always going to be our GCF, which means we have to divide that number out. So I'm going to divide everything by 2. Ooh, there's a plus blank out here at the end. Divide everything by 2, and that's going to give me x squared plus 6x. Okay, so now we're back to what we did yesterday. We're going to split that 6 in half. That's going to give me um, x plus 3 squared. And then remember, the 3 squared means I'm really doing uh, plus 9. So right, 3 squared gives me plus 9. I'll also show this to you with the box. I'm just doing the quick method right now. Now, what I want you to remember, though, is that this plus 9 is actually being multiplied by 2. That's what that GCF is doing, multiplied by 2. So there's secretly a 2 out here, which means I'm not really just adding 9. If you multiply, I'm really adding 18. And when I rewrite this um, as part of my answer, and I rewrite it into um, a perfect square, there's going to be a 2 on the outside, and then x plus 3 squared. So if you have a number on the outside, you've got to divide it out first, and then remultiply it to actually get um, your top number. So let's look at what this, what this looks like when we're actually changing over in a real equation. Okay, so notice in the equation here, they've already given us the wrong um, a number at the end, but the thing is, it's likely that this number is wrong. This is not the correct number that's supposed to go at the end, so we've got to work something out first. Okay, so for just a second, we're going to ignore the wrong number, or possibly wrong number, and just focus on this part in the beginning. Since there's a number in the front, we need to take out our GCF. Which, which is always going to be that front number, which is negative 5. All right, so if I divide, that's going to give me a new equation. And it's going to be x squared plus, uh, if I divide by negative 5, ooh, I should rewrite that, minus 4x plus blank. All right, so I'm going to draw the square this time to see if that helps you at all. So if I draw the square and I break it up, I've got x and x negative 2 and negative 2. Remember, the last box is really the only one that I care about. Everything else should work out fine. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Now, if we're thinking about this in terms of, um, well, 4 is what's going to go here. But if we want to think about this in terms of, like, the box, one of the things I usually do is I write parentheses here because I'm taking out a negative 5. And then I need to think to myself, well, that's not really a 4 in that box. It's negative 5 times 4, which means in this box it's really negative 20. So then I want to think to myself, what number am I adding to negative 20 to get to negative 17? How far off am I? So to fix that number and get back to negative 17, which was in the original problem, I really need to do um, plus 3. Right, because that's negative 20 plus 3 is negative 17. And so then to rewrite my final equation, my final answer is going to be y equals negative 5 from the GCF, the box, or however you worked that out, x minus 2 squared, and then plus 3. And this is just the vertex form of my original equation. All right, I'll do one more. This time I won't do the box. All right, so again, the number at the end, and I tend to write this every time. I think you probably should too. We think the number at the end might be wrong, so we're going to focus just on the front part for a minute, and we're going to do GCF, which is going to be the very first number, 2, or our A value. So when I divide that out, that's going to give me X squared. Here, I'll change colors for us. It's going to give me X squared plus 10x, plus blank. So I'm going to take half the middle term. So I know in parentheses I'm going to have x plus 5 squared. And I know that 
Um, this number right here, 5 squared, is going to give me 25. However, I have to account for the fact that I've got a GCF of 2. All right. So instead of 25, that's really 50. So when I think about this as being 50, and you should probably write that number somewhere, all right? I need to think how much more, how do I need to fix 50 to turn it into 54? And the answer then is that I need to add 4. So my final answer in vertex form is going to be y equals 2 for the GCF, x plus 5 squared, because I took half, plus 4. And this is now our vertex form. All right, hope that helps for today.